Greetings, this is the Crunchy Fat, and I saw in saw all the views on the last part, 1.8, that I've insane, and I saw a lot of the comments saying that you guys wanted this to continue. So here you guys go, part two to what if female Deku was a ghost. So... We'll pick up with where we last left off, <laughs> with Izu with a uh, Tok with a uh, Izumi trying to cover her face up, with um as Tokiyami had entered the building. As Izumi would would yell out, yell out in a scared tone of voice, "What what are you d doing here, you human?" Let's hold on. As Tokiyami would say, first off, I'm not I'm not technically human. I'm a bird. And second, and before you ask, yes, it's been canonically confirmed. Tokiyami is a bird. And he would say, and second, I came here because I sensed a great because I heard about a ghost that lived in this lived in this house. As Izumi would say, as Izumi would say. That that would be me, uh, th sir. I I'm th the ghost in this house. As Tokiyami would say, to be honest, you aren't really what the stories told said about said that you look like. Well, people said you looked you look like an act you look like a demon. As Izumi would say, that's the only the appearance I put on to scare people. I I don't actually look like that. No, I think some of you are getting quite annoyed with me, like doing some sort of stuttering thing with her. But keep in mind, she's act she does have a shy personality, so so she will be scared. Interacting with somebody for a very long period of time. As Tokiyami, Tokiyami would say. Hold on, I'll have to think about what you'd say. <laughs> Sorry about that. As Tokiyami would say. Oh, then what was that? What is the uh, strange darkness I sent from this, sensed from this place? As Izumi would say. That's... Just my, that's just me. It happens a lot. As Tokiyami would say, say, okay. So do you, uh, do you want to? Um, I guess I'll just uh, take my leave then. As Izumi would say, oh, okay. See ya then. As Izumi would then face through a wall, as Tokiyami would walk and pretend to shut the door. As he would go and shut the door and pretend that he left, as he would go around and investigate the house. Investigate the house. As he would wander, he would wander around and eventually get into the library. No, the study room. Yeah. Where he had found Izumi's um, checklists, all of them. And he had noticed that on these checklists that everything was in place, but over the, year, over the years, items were removed due to um, them falling apart due to their condition and age. As... He would continue to look around as he would eventually find a room with a piano in it. As Izumi is in there, as she is currently playing the piano. Now, if you guys have any, it just, you guys can think of what she's playing on the piano and that's what she's playing on it. Because I don't really, because I can't really think of anything that she could play on the piano. As Tokiyami would just just be standing there listening to it as he would find it 
absolutely, he would, he would find this music, um, quite calming and hypnotic as well. No, not hypnotic, just calming. As Izumi would have stopped playing, as she would have turned around and seen that Tokiyami was still in the house. As Izumi would go, uh, what are you doing here? I, I, I thought you left ages ago. As Tokiyami said, I wanted to investigate, I wanted to investigate the house. And I must say, you play the piano quite beautifully. As Izumi would turn red, as she would say, thank you, not that many people stay around to hear the piano, so, and nobody has really ever complimented my piano skills before. As there were like a few lost souls that were floating about the area, as Tokiyami would say, would see them as like little white orbs, but Izumi sees them as this, as these in the corners, as Tokiyami would say, what are these, as pointing to them, as Izumi would say, oh, those are the lost souls, they, they were people who couldn't get make their way to the afterlife so I, I've basically been looking after them for a very long time it's eventually gone to the point where, where they see me as their mother th figure as Tokiyami would say it must be quite stressful to try and look after all of them as Izumi would say Actually, they don't really demand much or need much. All they need is a little bit of attention from me from time to time, and they're fine. With that, they, they don't need food or any form of hydration. So they, so sometimes some of them will follow me around the house. As oh. all right, so for the next couple of hours, um, Tokuyami and Izumi would have spe spent their time socializing with each other. As Tokuyami would look at the time, as you'd say, "All right, I think I need to leave now, but if you want, I can come and visit from time to time." As Izumi would say, "Sure, that." would be nice as Tokiyami would have left the left the building as Izumi Izumi would have felt like a warmness that she hasn't hadn't felt in a very long time as I'm just going to say this since I didn't establish it in the first part the uh, UA dorms are going to be implemented in me at the beginning of first at the beginning of the year. So when they start, so Tokiyami will move into the UA dorms. As during Tokiyami's visits, he would have said that he he was planning on becoming a hero. Be planning on becoming a hero and headed to UA. As Izumi would have said. What's he, a hero and what's UA? As Tokiyami would say, hold on, how about that? As Tokiyami would say, a hero is somebody who saves others who are in trouble or who are in need of it. And UA is a school that allow, that teaches those future heroes to become heroes, the best heroes that they can be. As Izumi would say, Oh, that sounds quite nice. I, I wish I 
could go there, but I, I, I can't really leave the house for house at all. As Tokiyami would say, would say, well, can you leave the house if one, the, if something from the house is taken from it? As Izumi would say, yes, since I'm technically bound to everything in this house, I can technically go outside the house if anything from the house, inside the house, is removed. As Tokuyami would ask Izumi, do you have any, like, occult books that I can, uh, take so that you can get, move, take, get out of the house? As Izumi would say, yeah, I, I, I do have some occult books. You give me a minute. As, to, as um, she would head into face through the wall and head into the library. As she would come out with a book. As she would say, "This is the book, uh, the the uh, occult book. It's it's a good read. I've r read it uh, from time to time." As Tokiyami would look at Izumi, as he would say. You don't really seem like the type to read occult stuff. As you know, me, as you know, me said, I, I used to read it quite a fair bit back when I was alive. As Tokiyami would say, ah, I see. As he would stand up, as he, he would say, all right, well, let's head to the outside world. As you know, me would say, on as Toki as you then say okay as when Tokiyami steps out of the boundaries of the house um Izumi then heads out goes with him as she, she's basically invisible right now so only Tokiyami can see her see her and so can Dark Shadow so those are the only two who can see her as she's basically just floating right behind Tokiyami As they would both arrive at UA since it was the day of the entrance exams. As Tokiyami has the occult book in his bag, which he um, then gives, then puts beside him as he listens through the auditorium thing. As Ida then stands up and points out that there's a, there's a robot missing. And that if this is an oversight by Yui, I'm very disappointed. As he was about to say something else, but Izumi essentially possesses him. As his eyes do end up turning pink, as he that she then slaps Ida. Ida while possessing him, and then she gets out of his body. As she then goes right back next to Tokiyami. As Tokiyami like snickering a little bit. As he found that a bit funny. As um, he did, would then sit back down, completely confused on why he slapped himself. As the entrance exams for Tokiyami would go as they did in canon, as he would end up passing. And over the couple weeks of Tokiyami waiting to get to UAE, Tokiyami did end up saving up enough money. To, um, I'm just going to say this, say this, Tokiyami ended up buying the house of Izumi then, so that, cause, there were people, the city was planning on tearing the house down, because, um, they were planning on tearing it down so they could put new housing there, so Tokiyami bought, saved up enough money and bought the house, so that, um, Izumi and the lost spirit, lost souls would be safe and not have to go anywhere else. As Tokiyami is currently in the process of moving his stuff into the UA dorms, as Izumi would kind of be helping him, as she would say, Would you like some more B books from the library at Tokiyami? 
uh, to Kiyami would say, sure, sure, we, I, if you can help me uh, get them up, uh, as Izumi would say, yes, sir. As she'd then pick up another checklist, this time it was for the books, as she would go around taking out the books and putting them in the cardboard boxes, as she would have done it quite fairly quickly, as she would have wiped her arm on her forehead, as she would have taken the last, the last box, as she would have helped Tokiyami get all the boxes down, as she is currently physical right now, so she's able to lift them. As she then takes them downstairs, as Izumi would say, Okay, so you might need Dark Shadow's help to lift the rest of these boxes, since I, I don't really want anyone else to um see me. So um, Izumi's stuttering thing, she that's slowly going down, because the more she's hanging out with Tokiyami, the less awkward she feels around him, so she's stuttering less and less with him. As Izumi, as Tokoyami and Dark Shadow would have gone the stuff to UA, as Tokoyami would have began unpacking, as he would have gone the bookshelves, the books in the shelves, and all that. As the room does look similar to canon, the canon anime, and Izumi does stay there, since Tokoyami that you in, that's the only way she can socialize with him as um as people as the as the as class one day would meet up as they'd introduce themselves as they would then do the room contest as since these enemies in the room, Tokiyami, she doesn't know that people are coming. So t before Tokiyami enters the room, he sort of like not before people begin entering the room, Tokiyami does like a little, a little secret knock thing that they had practiced, so that Izumi knows people are coming. As she is currently reading a book, as she panic, as she would then hear the knock, put the book back, and then go invisible. As they would then enter the room, as their reactions are quite similar to how they are in canon. As Izumi would still be floating, floating, floating near the bookshelves, she's actually like nearly panicking because people are coming near the bookshelves. As she would begin to slowly move out of the way. As they do sort of feel like a cold draft, as they're wondering what that is. As Tokiyami can still see Izumi, as he begins to panic, as he would say, Oh, I, uh, I left the uh, window open a bit. So that's why there's a cold draft. As a lot of the people in Class 1A would accept that, except for um, Toki... To no, not Tokiyami. Todoroki. Why? Because he's the conspiracy theorist of Class 1A, so of course he's going to question that. As Izumi would basically breathe a sigh of relief as everybody would then leave the rooms, as Tokiyami would stay in his room, as Izumi would become visible again, as she would say, That was close. As Tokiyami would say, yeah, it was pretty close. As that is where I'm going to end this part off. I do hope you guys enjoyed it as much as you did as the last part because I'm still sort of like getting back into the swing of doing my what ifs because of that week, entire week off I took. So do forgive me. And anyway, thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time. Ta-ta.